schmeißt.
Okay, okay. Wait, hold on. There it is. Let's go. We're getting into game. I seem to have <laughs> come on a little late for the champ select, but agent select. But anyway, seems to be some classic lineups coming from both teams. No real curveballs in the agent select right now for this map. We got Sova. We got Sova, Rage, Jet, Omen, and Sage for Westwood. And then Asher, Rage, Sage, KJ, and Ranga for the opponents. Let me just pick something real quick. There it is. Okay, so this will be a fun matchup. Westwood already 2-0, their first game, one due to a bye. Their second game, I was unfortunately not able to check out. So it's going to be exciting trying to see what happens now. All right, we got a bit of a default setup. Two on each site, so we're holding in the market. We'll see. So this seems to be... A full push B coming in from the opponent side. They're slow walking up. Yummy yeah, Yugi spots them. We'll see what they're homing and smoked off the market. He jumps out. we will be able to get vision. Blocks off the entrance to site with his own dark cover. And we see the rest of the team rotating. They seem to know that the entirety of their opponents are on the B side. Azula holding up the mid flank, making sure they can't go through tiles. And so far, it's going to be a steady hold from Westwood. Azula... Spotting out the mid, making sure no one's walking up cat. They don't seem to hear that the opponents are rotating through mid. Pretty fast rotate. They are all knives out running from the looks of their silhouette. So we'll see what happens. The opponents now walking up to A, lobby, Sova. That dart seems to have caught someone out. At least one. You hear the ping and it was destroyed. So they know that there are footsteps walking mid. Azula. In a dual mid. Gets out. Momo. Kills off the Ranga and the Killjoy in a dual mid. And now, this seems to be a face off on A main. Rocco getting the pick. Spike down the a. On the backside, getting another trade. Track. And now it is just Rage Trap alone. Getting executed by Azula. A clean round overall coming from Westwood right now. You know, not playing too aggressive, but being able to stall any efforts. Of aggression from their opponents so it seems right now four of Westwood are going to force with yummy Yugi holding on to the ego not buying too much it makes sense yes yeah, she yummy Yugi did buy full util and the safe that does seem to be enough to stall out the push let's see another five man trump Yugi is able to live again cover coming out from the omen a lot of fire coming out from the opponents on the B main. Squiddy Balloon might have seen the Astra. They definitely know at least two are there. Because Astra was seeing it himself. A clean spray from Squiddy Balloon. Oh, with the Spectre. Just lasered onto them. Sigasaurus is going to be able to get one. Here comes Rocco with the flank. Will he be able to find something? The three of the opponents are trapped in B main. Azula jumps up. Boombot Spike gets a kill. Stegosaurus with the insane U util usage on the race. Spike is down. Squiddy Balloon. Aggressive Rocket gets the paranoia. Rocco coming in and catch the flank. A double kill for the Sova and another and another flawless victory from Westwood. The opponents. Seemingly not able to find a foothold, and Westwood's gonna be able to bonus for this round. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. So it seems like the opponents now are gonna be by pushing this. What happens? But still, he's not finding any damage. In fact, he gets dinked himself. And it's gonna be the opponents walking up. Boombox out. Stegosaurus will see. It. Azula gets a headshot. Stegosaurus is not damaged by the Boombox. Will the paint shells get him? He's just like, Rocco gets killed by the 
Killjoy, Killjoy is able to get another one. Witty Balloon, Yummy Yugi, and Azula are all on Kevin, but y Yummy Yugi keeps me making the move. Azula, one, drops down the site, and Witty Balloon gets planted. the raise. A clean retake coming out from Westwood. The flank from Sage, from Yummy Yugi, is going to be able to take out the final of Honging, and they're going to get the Diffuse. So far, 3-0, a very strong start for Westwood. So we see now, are Squiddy and Yumi going to bonus again this round? Yummy Yugi seeming to have bought the Vandal, not going to be a bonus, going to full buy. But Azula is still with the Marshall. We're gonna be able to. See, we're gonna see what work can be done with this low equal weapon. A lot of money being saved, so even if they lose this round, which was not gonna be in a dire financial spot, really. Yummy Yugi has the wall prepped for B main. That can actually smoke on market and the immediate wall. But so that's not really going to block much, is it? Slow orb going down. It's gonna be able to stall off some push right now. Squid Balloon still has the Spectre. Let's see what's gonna be done here. Rocco doesn't find anyone a lobby, but he's checking out tiles. So we'd be able to see anyone rotating. Maybe the Killjoy, maybe Star Cube on the stage. And they don't know that they're walking back. Uh. Oh, but Rocco gets the headshot on the Star Cube. The slow peak is not what you want when you're up against someone with a scoped in Vandal. It's gonna be a clean pick. Azula holding strong on this aiming angle. Oh, unscopes as soon as Ray's walks out. That's some CSGO timing if I'm not seeing it. Jumps up to heaven. A very safe spot. The team right now, not pushing up. Rocco, another insane hold. Very patient. And a clean crosshair placement will get the kill. And spike down on Cat. 30 we'll seconds what's left. what's gonna happen. Rocco peeking out. Oh my, a little bit of shaking, but another headshot coming out. That's a right 3k here. for the Sova. Uh, with the peak. A nice spray, and that is going to cap off the round. Their third flawless round. Their fourth victorious round. Westwood. I'm making a statement right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving the enthusiasm, Squiddy. Oh boy. So we'll see what the opponents are going to do right now. Are they going to try and make a default? Or are they just going to keep on going with these five-man pushes? We'll see. So the round starts off. Yummy Yugi again, same spot, just waiting for the wall. Squiddy Balloon watching off mid. Gets a headshot tiles. So that's going to be one down. Their Astra is gone. That's a huge pick. Not a lot of engage on their team without Astra. Wall comes out. Yummy Yugi gets hit off. Stealing However, sight. they're going to be able to break the wall, walk up through lane. Squiddy Balloon's down into tile. The Rang of Lear is not going to catch him yet. He could be able to find one. Surprised. TP into the boat. Were they able to hear that? Who's to say? Rocco. Somehow dies on the back end. Squid Balloon's getting some damage out. That's gonna be three on site. Spike and the planted. retake in the works. Squid Balloon, we'll see. They're gonna be able to get some inf info. And Azula gets a pick with that. They know one's back in Graveyard. Are they? Do they say on safe? They do. Squid Balloon, the solo plane does not have too much backup. Except Azula rushes and jumps onto the wall and gets the Sheriff headshot. Oh my, that is... That is the fifth in a row Here. for Westwood. In Central Cambria, the opponents so far are still wingless in this match. Now, something to say about Westwood. They really haven't changed up their defense too much this game, five rounds in, still the same positioning, still the same game plan, more or less for them. And honestly, why try and fix what's not broke? Cambria keeps trying to make these all or nothing pushes. They keep getting stuck. That's a wall coming out from Yugi. Seems to have sensed off. Yep, they know that at least two are B main. Pink Show is going on to market. He's gonna be able to get some chip damage onto Squiddy. But Yummy Yugi holding us clean. 
We'll see what Rocco spots on the drone. Not be able to right find here. much. And Central Pena gets the Leer out. Here's the Hunter's Fury. Will they be able to hit anything? Rocco aiming. Hits three with the Hunter's Fury. Squiddy Blue finds off Terra on lane. That's going to be Killjoy, Yuto all down. Squiddy finds the pick on Suzuki as well. Finds the pick onto Astra. That's a 4k coming for Squiddy. Will he be able to get the ace? Let's see. Rocco going to steal the ace from his teammate, but that's going to be another win for Westwood. <sighs> Central Cambria doing a whole lot of nothing in these pushes. Can't really find a foothold. They were only able to place the spike down twice, I believe. Yes, that's right. One on A and once on B. But other than that, their pushes have not been successful at all. And now with Azula on the op, we know how Jets like their op. It doesn't seem like Central Cambria has much in the works right now as opposed to a master plan. That's the wide peak. Gonna be able to tailwind out of there real safe. Centosaurus covering from neither of them take any damage. And so far, it's just going to be the one bit of contact. Squiddy gonna watch their cat wall. Rocco seems he's gonna throw out. Centosaurus finds the pick. Rocco. Drones out, doesn't find much, but Zula is able to get the off shot onto Art Staff. Start keeps down. Boombot's gonna be able to find at least one. No damage down. There's the black attack with E, but the spray is not enough to get both of them. Sway Balloon with the flank. Not... <laughs> not the cleanest of kills, but it's a kill nonetheless. 7-0 for Westwood. And from that push, it just seems like Westwood is just more in control, more synthesized with their team plays. You know, Cambria is not able to find any picks because Westwood's playing so safe, just watching angles and leaving as soon as there's a sign of danger, which might be frustrating if you're begins. trying to play attack, trying to play off your opponents to save their yeah. making many. Sway Balloon able to find the trade with Rocco supporting from Pat, but he's going to go down bottom mid. Rocco is forced back with Pink Chose, that's going to get him below half health. Santa Source is here with the Bloom Bot. Let's see what's. Is he going to be able to find anything? The wall blocks off any vision from Cat, and it's going to be up to Yugi what watching for Market. Gets one pick, gets two. And there's only a raising Ranga down. Oh, Momo catches him off guard. Facing the other way. Azula spots one. one enemy gets remaining. Momo through the Leer. What a wonderful pick. Sekisaurus and Rocco here on the cover. They know where Zulka is. Wow, <laughs> the paint shows are going to force him out of the corner. And the Vandal is going to confirm the kill. And again, this is the third round in a row where Spike has not made it onto a single site. Right here. Now, Squiddy right and here. Azula, both with the ops, that's gotta be... That's gonna be real frustrating if you're Central Cambria, especially with their eco right now. Only Momo able to full buy, and that's from Ultless Ringa anyway, so... All you have is your Leer. Everyone else with the SMG or pistols. They're gonna try and make a push, walking straight up. Azula gets the shot. For second source, tank grenade is able to get a little bit of space. Zulkis Tiablo gets the showstopper. But your show is stopped anyway, not able to send out the missile. Get caught by a shock dart. Azula is caught out a little on dice, but Rocco is going in anyway. Gonna be able to make sure no one from Central Cambria pushes up on Azula anyway. That's a 4k for Rocco, but he's gonna go down before he's able to get the ace. Witty, Azula, everyone is pushing onto Momo. The only one with a gun, but also the one with extremely low health. They're slowed off on their own. Sex stores not gonna push much. 45 seconds left for Momo. We'll there. see what they're able to do right now, but Sekasaurus 
has the aiming angle. So watching this, and yep, that's it. One peek into Psychosaurus, but the reaction time is too fast. Damn. Oh my! Looking at the looking at the eco Got between you. the two teams, and we see a stark contrast. You see everyone on Westwood with a full buy, multiple ops, and they still have more than five thousand each, except for Rocco. And then you look at Central Cambria, two light shields, two SMGs. Oh, this is like this is not fun if this wall goes off. Here's the footstep. WD saving off the push ring out, but that's gonna be a fast destruction of the wall. The slow field is gonna be able to make some space. Yummy Yugi is actually slowed off on their own from a orb drone by Star Cube. Oh my god, almost gets caught out by Momo with the window peek, but Sweetie yeah. is able to walk out of the way, find the shot, lines it up real nice and quick, and takes out Momo. Astra is, er, Ranga is down. Astra, the wall is out. They're able to push onto lane, but Yummy Yugi, it will get vision on them. Goes down, unfortunately. And something good for Central Cambria. They're gonna be able to get the spike down. This is a very good position for them. Spike planted. Witty Balloon trying to peek with the off. Is able to find one. Gets the stage down. Rocco has the recouple out. They know that one. Graveyard. Witty one Balloon, a remaining. third pick. A third pick on Witty Balloon. A final kill for Rocco. And a defuse for Westwood. That's going to bring this game to 10 to 0. Is defused. <laughs> Wow, it's just, there's not much to say other than the complete dominance that's being shown by Westwood right now. Two members of Central Cambria, killless right now. They're Raze and they're Asha. Raze, you'd assume, would be the one going in real fast trying to make those aggressive picks happen. But Zolkis Diablo is just not able to find it. Artist Tap, the, the util usage has been somewhat effective but central cambria the rest of them are just not able to trade over it there's gonna be five on a azula and second story is just watching the pick or watching the aiming entrance real patient a little bit of jiggling but not much squee balloon has an op out on top cat and no one's watching there azula finds the pick on a peak Oh boy, that's their killjoy going down. Kara has no. Or. Central Cambria has no killjoy usage anymore. Rocco finding. Standing ahead. The cat push mostly empty. Only one little bot. But that Recon Bolt's not going to be able to find anyone. Oh, it finds one in the final tick. Azula has the op trying to see if they walk up. Yummy Yugi. Is watching the garage right now. So Sage is not able to find if they walk up. Kyle, but Zula is going to be able to find the pick nonetheless. Witty Balloon going down to Star Cube. Yummy Yugi is finally pushing up onto left. bottom mid. Is going to be able to find a pick on the other stage. But Momo, a nice headshot. Yummy Yugi caught out with a slow orb. And Rocco again gets caught out with you till out. Azula only has four health and one shot. Will they Last be able to make a play? Standing. Artist Top finds the second kill in the game. It's planting with only eight seconds left. And Azula is a little Spike out of sorts right now. That is the first round for Central Cambria. They are on the board. One to ten. Last round in the half. If you're Central Cambria, you're feeling a little good right now. One round on the board. Finally able to full buy BYB everyone fam. on the team. To do them Astro Guardian things so does still have a bulldog, but hey, it's a rifle. Meanwhile, everyone on Westwood just going vandal only. You know, relying on their shots. No funny business with the op. No one-shot kills. They're just playing straight and easy with the vandal. The, the, begins. the same wall on B. Place it down. Paint Shell should get most of the damage travel. down. And yes, they're able to push out onto site. Yummy Yugi, forced onto site. 
Witty Balloon from Market gets the kill onto Terra. He's gonna try and ult in, but that's gonna be immediately killed. Rocco, we'll see what they're gonna be able to get from the throw. Oh, Yummy Yugi doesn't see that they pushed up to lane, dies from behind. Witty Balloon's also going down. He's gonna source. He's gonna try to show stopping kill. But Azula is trying to push onto site. Makes the lane push, catches up the Zoki Diablo. Bobo is in contact. Zekasaurus has the stair play. Rocco and Azula pushing through lane. Zekasaurus trying to go for the wall bank with the information, but will they be able to find anything? Ro Momo gets a kill. Star Q goes down. Momo trades onto Rocco and it's up to Azula right now to try and clean this out, make this an 11 1. But no, Momo is gonna be able to clutch out with a 4k. Is that the switching second sides. clutch for Momo? No, because Earth is still around alive, round 10. But Central Cambria is not going quietly in tonight. They're going to cap off the half with two rounds. Of course, it is 10 to 2 in favor of Westwood, but still, Central Cambria not out of this game yet. So it seems that Westwood is going to... Are they going to play default? Right it doesn't seem that Squiddy and Jemmy Yugi are going to make their way to B. It's going to be a five-man group. Now, it seems like they might just be playing for info right now with how far back they're standing. This is going to be an especially hard push if they try to make it because Killjoy has that standard setup. You know, with the... With the turret out up CT and the double molly angling Rocco could be able to find one is that a ping standing ahead on trouble oh, charges not yet Rocco just WM one straight out of the big loop also up into lane will you be able to find anything no that's a clean headshot Spike onto down, Squiddy Zolk is fine paint shows onto Sector Stores and now it's just up to Rocco and Yummy oh, Yugi oh, to win perfect. this round. Rocco finds two clean kills onto both. Last player Yummy standing. Yugi is the only one alive though because Momo finds a clean headshot and that is going to be a 3k for the Ranga. A third round win for Central Cambria. And a good start for them on their defense half. Yummy Yugi, I think... Or... Westwood, I think this is the first time in this entire game they are at an eco disadvantage. We'll see what they want to do. It seems like they're... Three of them are going full util. While Azula and Roko are just saving up the money. Roko right actually has a sheriff. So we're... So we're expecting him to make some clean one taps to try and even out this fight. Central Cambria, that is five members with Spectre Light Shield. <laughs> Not, not the best to look forward to if you're trying to push into them. Second store spots one up heaven. That's being early smoke coming up the first attack. Rocco does get the clean one tap. It's actually a wall bang one tap onto Zolkis up mid. Now Star Cube is going to be able to find the wall. You know, stop off their pushing. Artist tap actually gets a kill onto Azula. Squee Balloon is planting generator though. They're on site, so we'll see how the retake is going to go. Second source is waiting hell under smoke. Rocco playing off a tree. He is slowed. Squiddy Balloon finds a kill into Artist Tap. Momo is going to be able to trade though. Yummy Yugi does not see that one drop down gen. Okay, maybe he does right now, but he's going to be able to pick, pick off by Momo. Second Source does not find the trade. And it's up to Rocco to try and find some pits. It doesn't seem like he's going to be going for a win any way right now. He's trying to get the wall bait, but he's not find it. Will he be able to find the kill onto Momo? No. That is a four kill for Momo. 18 kills on the Ringa, three times as many as the second fragger. And Central Cambria are clawing their way back into this match. Oh boy. Now, if you're Westwood, you know, you can't, you cannot get discouraged. You know, even though Central Cambria is, has won the past four rounds in a row, Technically, they're only on a two-round win because the round switched halfway through. So, the eco is going to be... 
or the weapons are gonna be somewhat even. Azula rushing on two sites, forcing the artist to tap back. The pin shell from his own teammate is gonna be able to chip him a little bit. The damage is reduced on teammates, so it's not gonna be much. The second sword is pushed up onto heaven, slowed. He hears there's gonna be some. Gets the pick onto artist tap. Lost pack. Will that find some chip damage? Not too much. It's gonna be a 5v4 in favor of Westwood. Second sword has. The angle on them. Finds another pick onto Zolkis. Raise diff, I guess. Yummy Yugi and Rocco both watching Tree. Rocco's gonna be able to find a pick on Tranga. Or on the um, Killjoy, my apologies. And so far, Westwood have a strong hold onto this site. Sweetie Blue and teleports up aggressively onto the wall. Be hopping their way through. Yummy Yugi and Squiddy both chasing them through Let's see, they know Star Cube's out on B. Will they be able to find a pick? It doesn't seem like they're gonna have enough time. Star Cube's just winning in Graveyard. And now that is going to be a round win for Westwood. They take it back this half. Now, last round. I said that Eco was effectively the same because everyone basically had the same guns. However, last round, Central Cambria had more credits in the bank. So they had more money saved up. This round, that is not the case. Westwood and Central Cambria are, for the most part, equal, both in terms of credits saved and guns the out on the map right now. So the game, for all intents and purposes, is entirely equal. Rocco, find some info. He's able to find a kill. He's able to find a kill. Yes, he will. And he rolls up, he walks up to dodge the paint shells. Ugh. Now, Westwood have a firm hold on this site. If somebody's able to find out one, maybe two on Heaven, and the wall will be able to stall them permanently. Or at least temporarily, I mean, as the wall is up right now. Door's gonna be broken, and Momo's gonna be able to find the pick on Turaga. So, Central Cambria finding a little bit back now. How could Woody Balloons be able to find the pick on the artist top? Kara throws off Azula, Six first gets the trade, but Momo drops down into Jenny and is able to kill off two of Westwoods on the site. Now it's only up to Sweetie Balloon. Will they hear the team? It does not seem like they have. He's sticking on the diffuse, and Momo gets it to half, kills Sweetie Balloon real quick, and is able to finish off the diffuse. Momo, the Oranga. Leading Central Cambria into these victories, 22 and 11. <laughs> you're, you're Central Cambria. You, you definitely know who, who you're toasting after this game if you win. And you're Westwood. You definitely know who you're gonna try and avoid in these gunfights. Westwood going for a more eco-friendly route. Rocco and Squiddy, the two top raggers, up with Vandal, and everyone else is saving with a pistol or a bulldog or a specter. Now they're trying to go A again, but a pretty fast as Rotate is coming out from Central Cambria. I feel like they're expecting this, you know. Westwood going A so many times this half. I think this is the fourth right. time in this half out of five rounds. Because the smoke is coming out real fast from Artist Tap. Star Cube has the slow. Westwood, however, they're up on lobby, but they're not going to be making any moves onto site right now. They're just watching their angles, playing it slow, and that causes Cambria to try and trickle back onto the map, try and get more info. Now, Zolgus is back onto B, checking out the angles, sussing out where they are. However, Karif is actually pushing up Cat that's walking so they don't hear it. There. But I think Azula is watching this flank. Yes, he is. Will he be able to find the pick? He knows he sees Karoff, but Karoff finds the pick. He wins the trade. Rocco is going to be able to trade off the kill. And with the drone out, they see the artist is on site. The kings are coming out from the recon hole for the noise. The Hunter's Fury and Squiddy Balloon are able to confirm a kill. Squiddy Balloon. Oh yes, he does. He uses he uses his ult to plant on B. Only 12 seconds left. Now, his team is not as close to sight as he would like. Yummy Yugi and Rock are still stuck on Tyre. Momo takes out Sekasaurus, but the pink shells are able to 
trade him off yourself. Rocco right finds the last two coming out stairs. Cover going out. Will three balloons be able to get this kill? He sees it. WM running. He's not gonna work for Zolkis, but Star Cube's gonna be able to get the trade. He's now stuck in the graveyard. Will Yummy Yugi be able to Will Yummy Yugi and Rocco be able to find the kill? And they do. The Bulldog finds a headshot, and it is 12-5 for Westwood. This match is point. match point. Oh man. Now, Westwood, they had a bit of a shaky start to this half, but they are looking squeaky clean. Er, that last round, able to find the clean rotation with Omen's ult. Now, they're not going to be playing five strong A lobby. It seems they're actually going to have three pushing up to Cat right now. Sweaty Balloon covering off Azula and Stegosaurus with a few shots before walking up himself. Rocco droning in, finds a wrist air stab. Our artist tap. Standing ahead. At heaven. The recon bolt's going to come out when it's going to be Only. The Astro again. Right and some clean shots actually coming up from Rocco. He pushes up onto site. Rocco finding the kill. Stegosaurus takes out Jenny. Momo's down. Just not enough. good for Cambrio. There's star players up. All that's left are the Killjoy and I'm Sage. They're two sentinels stuck in heaven, having forced to play a retake. One five enemy. alive. This is a 1v5 actually. Terra finds off Stegosaurus with Sweetie Blue. Attackers gonna be able to win. make the trade, Red and that's gonna be a 13 5 victory for Westwood. Man. <laughs> now, if you're Central Cambria, you know. You can't say that you, you know, you didn't try your best, you know. There were five rounds that they did come out victorious, but in the end, Westwood is the team that played cleaner, played smarter, and they're going to take this match 13-5. Overall, other than those five round losses, a decisive and pretty clean victory coming out from these five. Seems like they're going to go home tonight with smiles on their faces, confident that they were the better team today. Of course, I may be a tag bias because I am streaming from their channel, but <laughs> a wing is a wing is a win. And Westwood is gonna add one more dub to their name, 3-0 this season. And that's going to be it for today. So, hope you enjoyed watching. And we're going to see you 